Here's a question for you. How exactly do microwave ovens heat up your food at the molecular level? Now, microwave ovens have a microwave generator inside called a magnetron that shoots microwaves into that cavity at a frequency of about 2.45 gigahertz. That's in the microwave band of the electromagnetic spectrum. That's why it's called a microwave. Now, just to remind you, electromagnetic waves have an oscillating magnetic field and an oscillating electric field. They oscillate perpendicular to each other and they propagate in a direction perpendicular to the electric and the magnetic fields. Now this oscillation has a frequency associated with it and for microwaves that's 2.45 gigahertz. Now basically what's going on here is the microwave frequency is chosen to agitate the water molecules and cause the water molecules in your food to rapidly switch directions back and forth, back and forth, leading to friction inside the food in the water molecules and that's what's actually heating up your food. It's not really heating up the food, it's heating up the water or agitating the water inside your food. Now the real question here is how exactly does an electromagnetic wave a microwave cause water to agitate and flip back and forth like that. So that's something actually called resonance. Very simple to pushing a child on the swing. You already know that when you push somebody on the swing, you have to push them at a regular interval. Uh, and, and so when they come back to your hand, you're ready to push again. You're giving energy from your hand into the swing at the exact right moment, the correct frequency for the resonant frequency of that swing. And so you're efficiently uh, coupling energy from the source, your hand, into the swing. Now I can actually show you this. So here is just a pendulum, like a swing. And when I push it, I have to push it when it comes back at exactly the correct frequency to give energy to this thing. If I push too fast, I'm not coupling energy efficiently. And if I push too slow, I'm also not coupling energy efficient. I have to give energy at the right resonant frequency. Now all water molecules are polar. That means that the oxygen is very slightly negative and the hydrogens are very slightly positive. So it's a polar or a charged molecule because of the way the electrons are sharing. So when the electromagnetic wave comes in, it's oscillating, pushing the water molecule back and forth because half of this molecule is charged positive, uh, this side, and the other half is charged negative. And that frequency of that microwave is chosen exactly to resonate with water. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.